Hello and welcome, I'm Sim UK, and it is my goal to provide to you the most honest, fact-based, critical reviews on YouTube. If you find this review helpful, then please hit that like button, subscribe, and help to support the channel by donating via the links below. Thank you so much, and enjoy the review. Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome, I'm Sim UK. I'm very quickly going to teach you how to import aircraft, uh, especially modded aircraft from Microsoft Flight Simulator into Air Hauler 2. Uh, this is only possible now that it's been upgraded, so you need to upgrade Air Hauler 2 to the latest possible version. And in order to show you how this whole situation works, uh, I'm going to be using the Zlin and Gravel Savage Gravel aircraft from uh, Go Gravel developers it's a fantastic aircraft i've got a review going up up on that today i urge you to go check it out it's definitely one you should have in your arsenal it's completely free and it's absolutely incredible it's sensational if you like um ga type flights and bush flights then this is definitely one you cannot be without let's jump into air hauler 2 first of all and uh, you can see here I've already imported the Savage Gravel but what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this entry and um, just install it once again and I can talk you through the process. Now once again this is only available in Air Hauler 2 version 3 3.0.0.5 or above so I urge you to go and update your Air Hauler 2. So in order to import aircraft into Air Hauler 2, you do need to have Microsoft Flight Simulator running. You need to have the plane that you want to import not only loaded, but um, uh, you have to be in the cockpit in order for this to work. So make sure you load up your sim first and select the aircraft that you want to be flying in. So uh, in the same way that you always have been able to import aircraft into Air Hauler 2, you come up here to the aircraft management page Previously, it has been possible to import from the list that's generated here. That doesn't work in Microsoft Flight Simulator. You can't even import from a specific location. You need this. You need to import via Sim Connect. It's the only thing that works now. So please start Microsoft Flight Simulator and load your chosen aircraft for import. When in the cockpit in Microsoft Flight Simulator, press OK here on this button. Don't press it yet. Wait until your aircraft has fully loaded. So here we are in Papua New Guinea, fantastic location for this aircraft, I can assure you. And uh, the Gravel is an absolute stunner. It really is a stunning looking aircraft. And that skin, incidentally, is um, very similar to Scrappy. But if you want to know more about that, go check out my review. Uh, the link's in the description. So once you've got that, you hit the OK, wait for Microsoft Flight Simulator to connect, transfer the data over, and then you can enter all of the data in here. Most of it is transported across straight away. Manufacturer, you're going to have to type in yourself. And unfortunately, at the moment, you can't change aircraft type. But flap damage and gear damage speed, you need to set yourself. And I've actually set it incorrectly here. I've done some research and flap damage should be 70. Uh, and I'm still working on uh, undercarriage damage speed. But that's it, guys. You can see it's popped in there now. It's actually got a very decent price, 112 odd thousand. That's an absolute bargain for an absolutely incredible aircraft. Please do go check out the review. This is a stunning, stunning free mod. Do not miss out. It's so good. And if you can contribute to the, the developers who have created this, then please do chuck them a couple of pounds. Link in the description below. It's right next to our own link. So if you would like to support Sim UK, we'd appreciate one pound from you each year. And uh, we don't ask any more than that. And that's not even necessary because everything we create is for free but it would help a tremendous amount thank you so much for watching please enjoy and uh, see you in the next one take care goodbye for now